This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Copeland versus Rosado. You all have been together for four years, and Ms. Copeland, you have made some very, very, very serious allegations against Mr. Rosado. Uh, why have you opened this case today? Yes, Your Honor, I am here today because I feel like I am in a, between a love triangle between my boyfriend and my mother. So you believe your boyfriend is sleeping with your mother? Yes, sir. This is the most serious of allegations one can make. How does this affect your, your heart, your soul, your spirit? It hurts. I went into foster care at a very young age, and this is the woman who raised me. This is the only mom that I know. And I've been with Nelson for four years. He's been around my child. We plan on starting a future together, having more children. So I'm hurt. So this is literally the two closest people in your life. Absolutely. Your absolute support system. And you believe that your mother and your boyfriend are sleeping together. Yes, ma'am. My heart breaks for you. That you even having to have that thought. My heart breaks for you. Mr. Rosado, those are some serious allegations. Yeah, they pretty much are allegations. That's what it really is. It's just all in her head. In the beginning, me and her mom really didn't get along. But as time progressed, I just started to build a, a friendship with her mother because I believe every boyfriend should get along with their girlfriend's mother. But it's just friendship. It's not nothing sexual. It's nothing what she's trying to make up in her head. That's really what it is. But you think that that friendship has crossed a completely different boundary? Yes, ma'am. What was the warning sign that you saw first? About a year and a half ago, I was... I had to go to the hospital. I have really bad asthma, so I was in the hospital for about two days, and he took over the responsibility of dropping my mom off to work. When I used to take her to work, it would only take 15, 20 minutes max. When he takes her or picks her up, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And they'll hit me with several excuses, like, oh, we stopped to get gas, we stopped to get food, the car had a flat tire, stuff like that. And there's been occasions where she comes home and her hair is wild. What do you mean, wild hair? Like, just had sex hair. Mr. Rosado. Yes. Why are all these excuses about getting your girlfriend's mother home timely? It's not excuses. When she used to pick her up, it would take 15 to 20 minutes, but she never stopped to get Spanish food. Do you ever go to a Spanish restaurant? The line is crazy. <laughs> so, at the Spanish restaurants, do they mess up your hair also, or...? Nah, they don't, they don't mess up your hair. It's just, we don't got no AC in the car, so I put the windows down. And if you're going over 25 miles a lot, well, you know you're going to hit some wind. I don't care how hot it is outside, you're going to hit some wind. But this is happening, is this all the time? Is it, how frequent are you experiencing her coming home late and they have an excuse for it? The, the messy hair was only one occasion, but there's other instances where I believe they were together. There was one occasion he had asked me to renew the registration on his vehicle. So I went into the glove compartment to get the registration out and I found a hair extension. And it looked very similar to my mother's hair extension. She only wears them on special occasions when she's getting all dolled up. I asked him about it. He said that he let his buddy borrow the car. And this is a picture of it. Mr. Rosado, why would her mom's hair extension be in your car? That don't look like her hair. <laughs> but it looks like her hair extension. No, it don't. Because that's... I borrow... I lend my friend a car, and he's a single man. He's a wild boy. He likes to entertain women. So I can't stop what he does. My friend even calls Serena to let her know Oh, I'm sorry, I left some hair in, your, in the car, blah, blah, blah. So she can understand But you know man code. So, you know wait, man did code. he call beforehand or he called after she confronted you about it? He called before. You got a call beforehand? No. No, it was after you it had a conversation. It was after I found it and I get that call. Him. Service is bad, but he did call. <laughs> call he did call. I know he did. Okay. So we've got the messy hair from the ride and now we got the hair extensions. Uh, what else have you found? There was one time Nelson and I decided we were going to go on a date night. So I got all dolled up, dressed up, nice heels. We we're going to go to dinner and a movie. And my mom was supposed to come pick up my son. And my mom never came. She never picked up her phone. And I called Nelson. We normally don't speak throughout the day. We speak at nighttime, check in, talk to each other before bed. And that night, he didn't call at all. 
and the next day I asked him what happened, and he said he was so tired from working a double that he fell asleep. And when I asked my mother, she said, oh, I was having a digital detox day, and I turned my phone off. So they went missing in action the same night. The same night, and I stayed home with my son all dolled up by myself. Mr. Mr. Rosado? Yes. I, I... I mean, this is date night. This is the night that's supposed to be with Ms. Copeland. Why did you d just disappear? Yeah, but I got sick. I ate something in the afternoon. I think I got food poison. Okay, when you're sick, you know, when I get sick, Jess Color takes care of me. So when you're sick, I mean, the first person you call is somebody who will come and take care of you, right? I didn't really want to bother her. I didn't really want to bother her. Yeah. So when I wake up, I see all her, the missed calls, her. So I call her back and I explain to her what had happened. Mr. Rosado, are you sure that you were not out with your girlfriend's mother? I'm positive about that. Definitely. I will never go out with her. She's not my type. Well, Carla, you know, there's a girlfriend's side, the boyfriend's side, and the girlfriend's mother's side, and she's joining us from her hometown. Let's visit. Mm. Hello, Ms. Water. How are you? I'm good, Your Honor. How are you? We're very good. Thank you for joining us. There You're are welcome. some very, very serious allegations being made by your daughter today. So I see. Could you please describe the relationship between yourself and your daughter's boyfriend? Now it's fine. At the beginning, it started off a little rocky. I thought he was cocky. He was too into himself. He was too controlling. And I didn't like that. Uh -huh. um, but we have gotten to know each other better now. And, you know, I think he's a nice guy. You see? So things are better now. Yes. Can you explain your disappearance on the night that your daughter and her boyfriend were supposed to have date night? I was having a digital detox. I wanted to be disconnected from everything and just have a moment with myself. How does it make you feel that your daughter is accusing you of sleeping with her boyfriend? It makes me feel very bad. We can all look each other in the eye. Um, we don't call each other as often. Things are a little awkward at times. Um, and it's very painful. Ms. Copeland, tell your mother how you feel about this situation. Mm. What this is doing to you emotionally. It breaks my heart. You're the I'm only sorry, mom baby. that I know. I'm sorry. I just hope it's not true. It's not. It's my heart out. It's the only person I ever loved and trusted. So, I don't know where to go from here. I just need to know it's not true. It's not true. Ms. Mona, you can't see it, but your daughter is standing here in tears. I'm have sorry you, you feel and, like that. Have you and her boyfriend ever been intimate together? No, sir. You're sure about that? Yes, sir. Mr. Rosado? Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you, have you and your girlfriend's mother been intimate together? If I could be honest with you... Please be honest. Be honest with her. Uh, yes. Yes, we've been having sexual intercourse for the past year and a half now. And every time that we would take 45 minutes from picking up from work, we was having sex in the car. When her hair was messed up, that's because there's no AC in the car, so we keep the windows up, sweating, it gets messed up. On um, the time of the tire, I took the air out of the tire, I took a picture, made it believe like it was flat, and sent it to her so she could think that it was flat. Meanwhile, the tire was good, we were just having sex in the car. Um, Mr. Rosal, how do you end up sleeping with your girlfriend's mother? How did this start? Yeah, I guess just being friendly, being a shoulder, listening to her. It was just like a fantasy I had since I was a kid of sleeping with the mother and the daughter. It's like a porn thing. It's kind of crazy, but it's something I really wanted to do. And now, now that I look at back at everything I did, I just feel bad about it. But I hope we can move past that. <laughs> yes. Miss Copeland, don't you dare take him back. 
He is a <laughs> he is a dog. Miss <laughs> Juana, how in the world could you do this to your daughter, knowing the life she has? <clears throat> Knowing that you have been her only touchstone, the only person she could trust, how did you let this happen? I, I didn't want to do it. I, I didn't want to do it. And I am... I'm very sorry. I don't... We just started getting closer and closer, and it was... We were amping up for it. And one day, you know, when he was dropping me off from work, we just decided to go, you know, elsewhere, and it just happened. But over and over and over again, sleeping with your daughter's boyfriend. How do you explain that? What do you want to say to your mother about sleeping with your boyfriend? I'm done. I don't want to continue our relationship. No, you don't please, need to no. be around my son. I'm done. No, baby, please. I'm done. Well, I know if you're done with your mother, what do you want to say to Mr. Rosado? <laughs> Goodbye. Nah, we don't have to... We don't have to break it up. We can... We can work on it. Get counseling or something. Can I repeat? No! I know I messed up, Your Honor, but we can move you forward. You don't go back this. from that. Let's not get it confused. What, what, what her mother did was awful. Oh. It is gross. No doubt. It is terrible. It is the worst thing that a mother could possibly do to her child, to her daughter. That's true. Ms. Warner, I, I'm going to allow you to speak to your daughter. What do you need to say to her? I'm very sorry. I want to work on us repairing our relationship. Um... We'll never do this again. I, I just want anymore. us to be back to normal one day. Miss Water, are you in love with Mr. Rosado? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. You know what? I don't believe you. One is the hesitation, it's the looking off. When was the last time you had sex with Mr. Rosado? Ask him. Mm. Mr. Rosado, when was the last time you had sex with your girlfriend's mother? <clears throat> like three weeks ago, sir. <laughs> so it's still going on, basically. No, 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 no. We ch- I'm trying to cut that off. Have you called her since then? Just how you doing, that's it, but nothing sexual. Okay, so you no. haven't cut it off. If you're still reaching out to her, you haven't cut it off. I want Did to. Did you know you had been cut off, Ms. Warner? Not so- really. You know what? Y'all make me sick. Because that look on your face is just not that I'm sorry, it's that I'm sorry I got caught. I'm sorry it's got to this point. Not really. Not really, sir. Let let me do this, because I'm done. Miss Warner, thank you. Bye. She should be mad more at her mom, not at me. This was just a fantasy, Your Honor. This is okay, something that and, and let me, stay in the past for me. You set out to sleep with your girlfriend and her mother. You started complimenting her mother to tell her how nice she looked, how beautiful she was. This was all a calculated plan on your part, and that's why yours is more insidious than what her mother did. As far pleasure. as you can possibly Let's go. throw him. Yeah, my children. I had to talk to her. I had to get rid of the trash. Okay? They're both liars. They're pieces of <laughs> both of them. So baby, let me just let me just talk to you. Unfortunately, you probably had to do a lot of stuff on your own. And sadly, you're gonna have to go back and do that. Do that again. Okay. I'm so sorry for you having to go through this. I can't imagine where you are, okay? I'm sorry I'm getting teary-eyed, but this is just terrible. 
and I wish it was something different for you, okay? But because of your inner strength and the power that you, you personally have to get to where you are, it's gonna be enough to get you to where God wants you to be, okay? And it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to be easy. But there are good relationships out there waiting for you. Yeah. I, I feel compelled to come down there and hug you. The mama in me. <laughs> come on, let's go. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. You'll be fine.